the Octagon, the modern day Colosseum. Combatants enter. The doors lock. A battle looms. Words cannot explain being locked in a cage with another human being and going after it. I'm thankful that there is this kind of fighting that goes on. Um, I don't find it barbaric. I guess I feel like a gladiator. Alexandria, Minnesota. Not where you would expect to find the king of the octagon. Well, that's just the way Brock Lesnar likes it. He is the current ultimate fighting heavyweight champion. This is his office. But his roots lie 130 miles away in Minneapolis, in the wrestling room at the U. He was different because all of wrestling, college wrestling, nobody had ever looked like him before. Just from the fact that he looked like the He-Man cartoon from the early days. I mean, he really looks like he's jumped right out of a comic book. There wasn't any physical feat that I felt challenged at because I never had respect for my opponent as a wrestler. I never respected him at all. All of a sudden, we had a, a whole new fan base because he was a new, phenomenal-looking athlete that could wrestle and could compete as well. Back in 1999, Brock became a gopher, a junior college champ from Bismarck State, on the verge of becoming a major college star. And that's exactly what he did. 55 wins. Only three defeats. Not too shabby. Gee, strong boy. His final match, the NCAA Heavyweight Championship. His opponent, West Hand Hawkeye. The Iowa Hawkeyes, you know, to put it lightly, we, we, did, we hated their guts, I guess. <laughs> He was nervous, but I think he knew, you know, this is it. I need to, I need to win this match. Wes Hand and I didn't exactly see eye to eye. It ended up coming down to double overtime, and it came down to me needing to get the escape to win. Fortunately, I did, and I'm thankful for that with nine seconds left. I'll take the win. I'm so happy. Uh, I worked hard. I know I deserve it more than he did. Well, we want to congratulate you and good luck with the choices after this season. Thank you. Unlike a lot of the college wrestlers, uh, his marketability was much higher than everybody else. The NBA, the NFL, the NHL, the, you know, Major League Baseball, you've got all these sports that these kids come to, to school for. And wrestling, we, we've got no outlet. We've got no avenue to take to show what we've got. One night I wanted to go out and have a big, uh, a nice dinner and and, uh, and maybe a couple of beers to celebrate, you know, and, and uh, <laughs> I had nothing but lint in my, in my pockets and I was just tired of it. Next stop, pro wrestling, a champion again. But Brock wasn't satisfied. The next call came from the Minnesota Vikings a shot at NFL glory. There was a moment when I was at the Vikings training camp wondering what in the heck am I doing here? I'm underqualified for any position on the team right now. And the day that I got cut, I thought this isn't what I want to do anyway. What he wanted to do is what he had always done best. I enjoy fighting and I enjoy competition. Just overpower Mir. I am a gifted 265-pound man that that uh, is very agile and uh, that 
is kind of a ground and pound brawler. How long will it take for Lesnar to go for a takedown? About five seconds! It just felt right in my heart and in my mind, and, and so I uh, pursued the, the UFC. Three fights, 24 minutes and 37 seconds in the octagon. Brock held the heavyweight title. It didn't even take this man 30 minutes to evolve from grappler to ultimate fighter. How hard do I hit? Um, One of the things that Frank Mir how hard can he hit and kick? Well, that's kind of hard to describe, but I guess if you had, maybe if you put a cannon in front of you about 10 feet away and you let it go at you. <laughs> I don't hate my opponents. I don't uh, get thrills off of hurting people. It, it just so happens that we can punch and we can kick and we can knee and we can submit and uh, we can do all these things to win a fight. His line of work, hazardous, at times, bloody. But that's okay with Lesnar. He knows what colors run through his veins. I'm a fighting gopher, I guess you would say. There's certain stages in everybody's life that, that help make you who you are uh, this very day, and, and University of Minnesota was was a huge part of my life. If he went to have been to the University of Minnesota, he wouldn't be where he is now. There, there's no way. You, that Division I wrestling prepares guys for the MMA like no other place.